I will not pretend that this will be easy. Even vermin can find their courage when defending a wall, and the cornered rat fights fiercely. But we have the strength and skill to take this place. Joanna coming in. Got another battle replay for you here on Total War Rome 2. Welcome back to the land of Caesars. We are on the settlement of Zaramagusta. Right there would be the town center. Uh, but this is not a regular siege battle. This is another one of the Total War League siege tournaments here. Uh, the attacking army we do, or attacking side I should say, is the advertisable tactics. And on defense we have the Rising Kings. Let's take a look at the armies. Rising Kings, Army. Fight Me is commanding Syracuse. And then we have Jack Jack 1221 playing as Bactria. Getting it onto the defend uh, the attackers, sorry. We'll take a look at Carthage here first, being commanded by Bubini, who is a Total War YouTuber. Make sure that his link is in the description. But we have Carthage, like I said, commanding, being commanded by Bubini. And he has brought seven units of Libyan infantry, four Gallic warriors, two Sam Knights, one late Libyan hoplite, general as a bodyguard. He also has three Cretan archers, one Libyan Peltast, and he does have a giant ballista. And his ally here, his teammate, I should say, is Arctic. Commanding Artaverni, and he has brought seven units of chosen swordsmen, five Celtic warriors, two Osworn, one of those being the general, four Gallic hunters, and he has a Celtic skirmisher somewhere. Where's the, where's the skirmisher? There it is, Celtic skirmisher right there. Okay, so there you go, guys. Army comps out of the way, and walls are going to start getting knocked down here, so let's get ready for the beginning of the battle. Okay, so jumping into the replay and the defenders have chosen to not defend over on this side at all, which I don't completely disagree with uh, because with the giant ballista station right in this area, they've got this whole area they could be firing at. So I don't entirely blame the defenders for not holding, but they are taking some shots from the artillery. Yeah, this unit's lost four and we have a actually a thorax swordsman. Wow, lost a lot. 21 men out of that unit already dead. That's crazy. But Carthage, I mean, they're just going in. They're just pressing in. I don't blame them, like I said, at all. Uh, so far, we've only seen primarily Syracuse, one unit of Bactrian Hillman. We do have the Bactrian General, who's made their way out all the way around over on this side. Probably was looking to try and maybe get a shot or a charge in onto the Bactrian Balli onto the Carthaginian Ballista, I'm sorry. Uh, but we have a pretty, pretty, pretty disgusting... Uh, force here going to be defending. I mean, the late Libyan hoplite's not the greatest, but two Osworn and two units of the Libyan infantry there. So not really a whole lot that the uh, Bactrian general is going to be able to do about the artillery. Uh, but the artillery is still firing in. We actually, okay, so we finally have some, uh, some combat here. It's good to see. Good to see. We got some thorax sitting up on the wall over here. Not really sure what they're doing. Uh, we have some slingers, regular slingers right there. All of the archers right here for Bactria, is act oh, they're actually in a really good position. Once that artillery runs out of ammo, got another shot coming in. 41 kills so far. Oh, yep. Hitting some of those Persian archers. Killed a couple. Yeah, 10, 12, 13. Well, okay, 13 kills. Wow. Nice. What's he at? 55 kills. Not bad. But yeah, these archers placed in a very, very good position right there. They're going to be able to get some really good shots in onto the flank of the Carthaginian force. And look at our Verney. 
Oh my god. Okay, so Arverni has come inside the settlement. He's actually walked right back out of the gate. And he's going to come over here and grab up these tortoises. Maybe make use of those towers as well. So it's going to be Carthage. Carthage is going to have quite the brunt to carry here. He's going to be taking on both of these uh, defending armies, Syracuse and Bactria, by himself. That is definitely going to be a feat for him to try and take on. But he's going to start charging in his Sam Knight Warriors here to help out the Gallic Warriors. Gallic Warriors get trash, though. Yeah, Gallic Warrior only 13 kills. That is actually kind of depressing to see. Gallic Warriors usually can get some pretty solid kills. I mean, I know that they were taking on the Thorax Swordsman here. Actually, no, we have Sam Knights. Sam Knights up at the front, Thorax Swordsman switching out with another unit of Thorax. Here comes another unit of Sam Knights making their way forward for Carthage. See how these archers are doing. They've actually pulled really far away. Wow, giving up this position to get some really good shots. Artillery fire still coming in over here, though. Let's see what he's at. 91 kills. He must be getting close to being out of ammunition, though. He's got to be getting close. Cretan archers up here on the front, not firing anything just yet. And they could try and maybe get some shots in over here onto these thorax and back to the hillman. Maybe, but there's still a little bit of an, uh, a little bit of a bad angle as far as shooting into their shield side. Thorax swordsman, Gen oh, no, not thorax swordsman, there he is. Thorax hoplite, thorax hoplite general moving up. He's actually tucked himself behind the building there. Uh, so yeah, Arverni is getting over here. So the defenders are going to have to be ready for a second attacking force that'll be coming in from the northern wall there. But it looks like the plan is to just try and deal with as much Carthage infantry as possible and then start getting ready for the Arverni force. But Arverni now, Gallic Hunters have moved up, starting to get some shots up over the walls, firing into some of the Slingers there. I think maybe they're firing, I think they're just firing the Slingers. No, they are, they're just shooting at the Slingers. So the Slingers are going to try and tuck themselves up as close as possible against the wall here, but they're going to have to move immediately. They're going to have to get out of the way as there is that tortoise moving up there for the Celtic Warriors. Now this is a problem right here. Huge problem for Syracuse. This is all non-shielded side. This right here for the Gallic Hunters, that is all non-shielded side for the Sam Knights and the Sor Thorax Swordsman there. So that is going to be a huge problem once these Arverni archers start firing, which they are not. Oh, I would have figured they would start shooting. Really thought they would have been starting to fire in here. I mean, I know the Sam Knights are winning, but with the infantry continuously cycling out, you can see this Sam Knight Warrior only 30. There they are. Okay, there's the archer fire. I was just waiting for it to happen. I knew it was going to happen. I was just kind of waiting for it to happen. Uh, what do we have back here? Some Thoreo Spears, a unit of archers there, another unit of Balearic Slingers right there. The, the uh, Bactrian in general still outside. Not really sure what he's planning on doing, as, yeah, the artillery is done. The artillery has done his job. 105 kills for that far of a shot. Really nicely done. Really, really nicely done. But all right, back up on the front. We have some more Bactrian Hillmen charging in. Going to continue trying to help hold with these Thorax Swordsmen. Oh, there we go. Rain shots finally coming in from the defenders. We have a unit of Balearic Slingers. Six kills so far for them. Looks like they're just going to start trying to get into the infantry here. But, I mean, look at what is still yet to even get inside the settlement. Wow. That is a lot. That is a lot. Are Vernie actually pulling his archers away? Oh, that's why he pulled the archers away. We have a unit of slingers up on the wall there. Very nicely done there by Syracuse. Chasing the Gallic Hunters away. That was actually a really, really good move there. All right, anything coming in just yet? Not yet. Looks like we're getting ready to knock down this corner, but the tortoise doing a little something weird right over there. Carthage is starting to suffer some losses now. The archers have moved back up over on this side, and they're going to be able to start firing right into all of this infantry right here. Getting some shots into the Cretan archers. Going to push them back. Let's get in and take a look at some of the fighting here on the front line. Oh, that was a javelin in the back, sir. In the back. More infantry switching around. We actually, oh, looked like they were trying to hit a gap right there. Trying to hit a gap. The Libyan infantry is going to shift over a little bit further, get into these thorax. I think this Libyan infantry was trying to come around here. But honestly, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, you know, try and hit this gap. Try and get in there into this into this Sandai warrior unit. There's a smaller unit, 160. Yeah, this is a full unit of Libyan infantry, and that's where they're going in. They are going to hit that gap, get into these Sam Knights there. 
Sam Knights with 82 kills, but they are going to start taking some losses. But again, very nicely placed unit of Balearic Slingers right there. Going to be able to get some really good shots, but this front line is starting to fall down ever so slightly. I mean, this is a Thorax with 129 men, but the back being Hillman that we're holding the center here, they might need to get another unit of infantry up there if they have anything left. Oh, no, they do. They definitely have more. Okay, there's a lot of Thorax swordsmen still sitting back here. Two more units of Bactrian Hillman. Arverni now starting to attack the walls over here, getting inside the settlement with a unit of Thorax Hoplite. going to easily move over here. Should be able to handle this Celtic warrior pretty good in their Hoplite wall back over here. We have two other units of Sam Knights and Thorax swordsmen just absolutely destroying this unit of Celtic warriors. We have Javelins helping out. Oh, no, we got Slingers helping out. Balearic Slingers. I don't know if I'd be firing the Balearic Slingers right now. This unit is dead. Like, stop firing. There's no point in continuing to use ammo on a unit, that's especially it's, it's wavering. There's just no point. But maybe he's not paying attention to that spot right there. Hopefully he does stop firing, though. Okay, he's going to switch over here. See that? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Hopefully he switches over here, starts firing. Uh, this Thorax might not be a bad idea. Just come over here and lock them in. Or at least maybe kind of pull one of these like that. So the Slingers will still have the avenue to be able to fire in. Chosen Swordsman now coming around the shield or the hoplite wall there from the Thorax Hoplites. Going to get into these Thorax Swordsmen. Cut the Warriors though. 15 kills down to 95 men. Yeah, like I said, this Thorax Hoplite should have no problem holding back the rest of that Celtic Warrior unit. Chosen Swordsman did get around the corner. They're starting to get some kills, eight, nine kills for them there. Another unit of Sam Knights have now fallen away from the front line over on this side as they were easily able to destroy that first unit. And oh my God, no! Slingers left on the wall! Celtic Warriors, oh, the Cretans are firing at them as well. Okay, I mean, again, I personally probably would have had my teammates stop firing at the uh, with the Cretan archers there just to save ammo. Just to save some more ammo, but look at this. Carthage actually breaking through the center. Trying really, really hard to just finish off this front line. But like this is this is honestly kind of weird to see. We have technically we have two front lines. We have a line here and then another line back there. But now we have a unit of thorax coming away from that fight. They actually got a really good rear charge. Probably a nice javelin volley into the back of that Libyan infantry. Falling back, they're gonna come over here. Help out the general who, oh, actually, yeah, that's nice. That is going to be a really nice charge again from these Thorax. As the Celtic Warriors did come down off the wall, they got into the Thorax Hoplite General, but, yep, Thorax coming in. Nice charge. Very well done here by Syracuse. Well played there. Well played. And this line is actually starting to hold yet again. Interesting. Yeah, look over here. These archers, oh, you've got to have, really? 13 and 11? That's it? Oh, man, I would have figured they would have had a ton more kills there. But they are actually chasing the Cretan archers away, chasing the Libyan Peltast away as well. The Libyan Peltast, I'm pretty sure they have some pretty solid... Yeah, 65 armor, so you don't really want to be firing at the uh, Libyan Peltast. The Cretans, though, obviously considerably lower armor, 30 armor compared to the 65. But right, the defenders are forming up yet again. We have a Thereos spear right there. So they could, if they really wanted to, the defenders could form up another line right there. But we have a lot of javelins coming in here now. Javelins being fired back. Not really a lot of kills on that one, though. Only three kills with that javelin volley. Cretan archers lining up. They are using their abilities. That is quick reload, right? Yes, quick reload has been used. Looks like they were firing back over here to try and chase those Persian light archers away. Now going to start firing into the infantry front line. Javelins again. And yeah, there is the hail of arrows coming into this unit of Thorax Swords. We're going to start trying just to bleed the, deplete their numbers down just a little bit. I have to say, Syracuse is doing a fantastic job over here. Slingers in a great position. 130 kills for this unit of Balearics. And they got a 25 bag of ammo there, guys. They have plenty of ammo to spare. And they are just absolutely cleaning up over on this side. Shows its Swordsman. 55 men left with only 51 kills. They are getting destroyed. Did you guys throw your javelins? 92 kills? I would imagine you did. Another unit of Celtic Warriors have come in, but they're immediately losing. 140 Celtic Warriors taking on a really beaten up unit of Thorax Swordsmen, but it says the Celtic Warriors are losing. But yeah, that's got to be the Slingers. Slingers are doing a fantastic job. Oh, here comes that Bactrian General. Here comes that Bactrian General. I think he's got eyes on these Celtic Skirmishers right there. You have a very small unit of Celtic Warriors moving over here. Probably just going to try and take the charge. 
But honestly, if I was back to you, I wouldn't even charge into that kill. I'd come around just at the last second. Don't even slam into that unit. Uh, I guess he's going to go for it. He's going to go for it. He's actually going to get into some of the Celtic skirmishers there, but he's going to pull away. 70 kills for the for the general. Not bad. So, I mean, okay. Never mind. I take back the going around the Celtic warriors because you got rid of them. But Chosen Swords were now chasing that general away. Skirmishers are definitely, yeah, the general's definitely out of range now. You can see the arrows still coming from the scorpion on top of the tower right there. It's a shame you can't see how many kills the scorpion gets. I think that'd be a pretty cool little thing to see. But the general actually lost 12 men on that charge. So that was actually, a, I mean, it was a solid charge, obviously. Walking away with 75 kills, but he lost 12 on the charge. That is pretty bad. Not bad, not bad. Pretty rough. Pretty rough. But all right, here we go. Carthage again making some more pressure Ooh, this could actually be a nice opportunity here for syracuse syracuse could come down the line here could charge into the back of that libyan infantry as well we have another unit of thorax swordsmen there from back here starting to make their way over towards the front line but oh they just got shot in the back yep gallic hunters here firing into that thorax swordsman as they're making their way over there and a couple of shots nothing really crazy though it looks like they've only lost one man so far but yep Bactrian and Hillman chasing that little unit of Libyan infantry back. Let's see if we have any, like, solid kills. 111 there, 18, 67. Archers, 186, pretty soon, pretty good there. 101 on this unit here with only 10. So they've just started firing. The Libyan Peltas, 68 kills. Probably not. Yeah, I don't think they have any javelins left. Let's see about the defenders line. 78, uh, 94. Bactrian and Hillman there getting in with, 90, with 9 kills. Sorry, 10 kills now. This Thorax, though, under duress. Yeah, they're going to start getting shot in the back. Gallic Hunter's here, and there's really nothing that the defender over on this side can really do. Slinger's taking some more shots. 166 kills for that unit. This unit here was zero. That is an archer unit, still full ammunition. Back over here, though, the Bactrian archers still trying to get some good kills. 26 and 26. Looks like they're firing over here, trying to get into some of the Soviet infantry, but you can see the shields are right in front. Oh, they're firing here. They're firing into this Libyan infantry, trying to help break that one down. There they go. Libyan infantry have been taken care of. So now we're going to be able to have some more infantry making their way forward. And let's not say, I mean, the defenders are far from out. There's still two more full units of Thorax Swordsmen right there. We have a unit of Bactrian Hillman, another unit of Thoreo Spears right there. But they have 31 kills. Might be running out of ammunition if they haven't already used all of their javelins already. But I have to say, Carthage has taken a beating over on this side. Really taking a lot of damage. Here comes the Osworn. So Arverni did send his two units of Osworn over on this side. Arverni still has a ton of infantry out here, though. Ton of infantry. One, two, three, four units, five units of Chosen Swordsmen. Not even engaged yet in the fight. But Carthage is definitely taking some really heavy losses. As I said way back, a few minutes back, I should say, uh, that he was going to take the brunt of the damage because he was going to have to fight both of these defending armies for a time until Arverni was able to get around. It was a good move there by Arverni, but I don't know if it's going to pay off. I don't know if it's going to be able to pay off because, yeah, Syracuse and Bactria are right there just holding these gaps, holding the breaches very, very well. So they're doing pretty good so far on the defender's side. Starting to break a little bit here in the middle. We have Bactria and Hillman on their way down. 35 kills, 43 men left in the unit. Another Thorax right there, 109, 48 men. But we have another unit of Thorax. Actually, both units of Thorax did move forward. So infantry still making their way in. Ooh, Thorax Swordsman coming around. Going to get into these Libyan Peltests. Not a very uh, not a very large unit of Thorax here. There's only 25 men, but still opportunity. Take the opportunity when you can. Take the opportunity when you can. we got Osworn in the center. They've already lost 14 men with 42 kills. Ooh, yeah, they're taking shots. They are taking shots. Syrian archers here for Bactria are starting to get some good shots off. 37 and 33. Uh, these Persians over here, they still firing? I think they... Oh, they not. Persian Light Archers. This unit's out with only 67 kills. Ooh. This unit here with 76, climbing closer towards 100. So pretty good. But I got to say, this side over here is looking really rough for Carthage. He doesn't have a whole lot of infantry left. I mean, that Libyan infantry right there, 112. A lot of his infantry is really beaten up. He's got one unit of Libyan infantry in reserve with only 21 men. 106 kills, though, but still with the Osworn General right there. Carthage General right there as well, but, I mean, it's just a General's Bodyguard. Uh, preferably taking the Noble Cav is much better. The General's Bodyguard, I mean, it's good, but it's not as good as the Noble Cav. That Heavy Shot Cavalry can just come in out of nowhere and get some brutal, brutal, brutal kills. But look at this. Syracuse just doing a fantastic job still holding this corner. The tower is neutralized, but that's fine. 
They are doing a really great job. What is this unit of Hoplites up to? 111 kills. Really solid job. All right, let's swing back around over here, see how Carthage is doing. I mean, he's... Oh, no, the Osuan got taken out. Oh, no, that is really not good. 40, 78 kills down to 38 men. Wow, these archers just murdered. Completely ripped apart that Osuan. But, okay, here we go. The Carthage General moving up. Where is he going? Oh, I think I know where he's going. If he hits this gap... I mean, we have the infantry falling back over there. Yeah, no, he's going to fall away. I think that's what he was thinking of doing. I really think he was that was his uh that was mindset right there, but his general's taking some losses. How many down went down four men? I mean, honestly, the general, if he wanted to, he could stretch all the way around over here and try and come around the back. That might not be a bad idea for that general. Where's he trying to go? I think he's just trying to pull away to safety. Alright, back over on this front though. Yes, yeah, Syracuse is still doing a really great job, but the Gallic Hunters now, there you go. Gallic Hunters using that angle. They're going to be able to get some good shots in onto that Thorax. He is forced to fall back with that Thorax Swordsman there. 72 kills down with uh, 95 men left in the unit. This unit over here, 87 with 166 for a Sam Knight Warrior. Oh, what is this? Oh, we got Gallic Hunters getting in there. Still out of ammo. 88 kills. Bactrian General's coming back across again. Is he just going to charge into this Celtic Skirmisher just to get rid of him? I mean, I would. I would just charge in there and get rid of him. Chosen Swordsman facing away towards the general. We got Gallic Hunters falling back. Are they out too? They are. 116 kills for that unit. This unit here, 61 kills. They definitely still have ammo. And this unit here with 48. So, okay. Arverni still has a decent amount of ammo. But yeah, Carthage is getting railroaded now. This is not looking good for the attack at all. Oh, actually, wait a second. The Syracuse general... 55 men left. Is he dead? No, not yet. Not yet. They may need to actually start falling some of this infantry back over here to try and help out with Carthage. I mean, there's a lot of battery and Thorax swordsmen over here. I really think that what's over here infantry... I mean, they have the Osworn General coming up, so they're going to need something. But if these archers just hold on for a couple of extra seconds and wait for this Osworn General to get in there... They might actually get some really, really, really good shots. All right, now I see the Carthage General is actually coming out of the settlement. Guys, I got to say, I mean, looking at it right now, this is not looking good for the attackers. The defenders just holding perfectly, doing a really great job. Now, like I said, way back at the beginning, they did start way back over here. Like the first couple of Bactrian units or a couple of uh, Syracuse units that we saw were way back over here. But, I mean, I get it. It's understandable because the artillery had that straight line all the way down the center street of this settlement to fire in. But, oh, look at this. Our Verney getting over here, getting some shots. Maybe that's why the Carthage General came out here. He's going to try and keep an eye on that. I mean, this Bactrian General, where is he? He's down to 28. Oh, my God. He's taking a lot more losses than the last time we saw him. Yeah, they definitely going to need to get some more infantry over here to help hold. Maybe this Thorax coming over here. Might not be a bad idea. Get that Thorax to come over here. Help out and hold in this line. Yeah, this unit is losing decisively. Here comes the Tarthage General. Looks like he's going to try and get through this gap. Can he get through? Oh, we got, I mean, they got the General right there. Oh, my God. No way. The Carthage General has gotten through, and he's hitting Slingers and Archers. Oh, there's a Peltas right there. Oh my god, what a massive charge right there. General is on the move. 42 kills, now breaking their way through, getting a massive charge into that Balearic Slinger. He's going to pull away. Is he going to try and maybe rear charge? Looks like that's where he's going. This Peltas should definitely chase the General down, try and get some shots in there, but here comes a big rear charge. Yep, here it comes. Oh, nice. Very, very, very solid General charge. Right there from Carthage. Yeah, pull away. Okay, here's the Peltas again. No, the Peltas aren't firing. Oh, no. Another murderous charge there from the general. 74 kills. He's lost seven men so far. 
but we did see that he had lost a couple of men over on that side initially. But all right, look at this. Carthage has been completely annihilated. So all of this infantry, anything that was left over here, now able to start making their way over here to help out the rest of the, uh, to get rid of the rest of the Arverni army. We got five, a little less than six minutes left in the battle. Ooh, there, these archers need to keep coming around. Keep getting these archers and slingers around. Maybe form something up right here. Maybe try and form something up right there. We actually have some more archers up on the wall there, blasting down into these Gallic hunters. And they are all out of ammunition, so there's no point in firing there. There is no point in firing there at all. But the general has broken in towards the town center of Bactria and Hillman, suffering that charge. Another unit, very small unit of Thorax. This general is on a tur, on a tear, on a tur. Wow, on a tear. Oh, we got archers here too. 81 and 122. Is he coming around? Nope, he's going to come over here. He's going to get into the back of these archers who are just starting to fire, but there's no infantry over here. They needed infantry to, to try and defend this. Look at these guys chasing. No, get them back. Get them back up over here. This general is doing a great job, though. 149 kills with this Carthage general down 14 men, and he's still going. Still going. Breaking through archer, ar archer after archer, slinger after slinger. Charging in over here again into the Peltas. Didn't fire a single volley. My God, yeah, this general, this general is literally just doing a ring around the rosy here. It's just continuously charging around. We have some Thoreo spears, another Hillman there. Here comes these Thorax coming back around. Thorax and Sam Knights making their way back up towards the front line. The balance of power is actually shifting in favor of the attackers now. 229 kills with this Carthage general. It's actually, I mean. Him not having an army anymore is actually making it a lot easier for him to just continuously charge with this general. He has nothing else to worry about. He's just moving around with the general. Oh, javelins. Javelins and archers now firing in. I think this Carthage general has pretty much run his course. <coughs> but now we have Bactria breaking on the front line. Oh, my God. Look at the balance of power ticking back in favor of the attackers. The Carthage general actually got away. There's still six of them left. What just died here? We just had a general die here? Yep, Bactrian General. I believe the Bactrian General just died. Yep, Bactrian General is dead. Carthage General's still moving around. Now he's just charging into anything he can get into. Oh my god, this general is turning it up. There he goes. Now he's gone. 254 kills with this general. That's gigantic. I think that's probably one of the greatest Carthage, uh, greatest general bodyguard kill count I've ever seen. That was huge. Absolutely gigantic. All right, so let's see. I mean, we got three minutes left, guys. Balance powers a little bit in favor of the def for the attackers, I should say. Got a full unit. Oh, yeah, that's pretty much a full unit of Chosen Swordsman over there. Where's the Osworn General? Is he dead too? Yeah, Osworn General got murdered. I didn't even see that happen. Did not even see that happen, but I don't really know if the defenders have enough to continue trying to hold this off. I mean, 91 Thorax Swordsman right there. We have a very small, yeah, very small unit. I mean, here's an opportunity. Maybe if Bactria can get around here, get a charge into the back there, but we have some more Slingers. Is that Slingers right there? Archers. Archers for Syracuse firing into the back of this Chosen Swordsman unit. But oh my God, look at the routing. Everything is routing. There is nothing left for the defenders. Unless there's stuff sitting back here still at the town center. We have an archer unit, the Bactrian Royal Cavalry General unit, and a thorax that's getting chewed up right now. MVP for certain MVP is the Carthaginian General. Without a doubt. Yep, there he goes. Thorax swordsman breaking down. This Bactrian General, 13 men left. 345 kills. Oh my god. Cavalry went off in this battle, guys. Holy crap. Yo, if you're not hitting the like button on this battle, I don't know what you're doing. This is amazing. This is probably one of the better siege tournament battles that I've seen for this tournament. But we're getting down to the nitty-gritty here. Archers, unfortunately, getting taken out by Chosen Swordsman. And it looks like that might be the final unit there for the defense. But no, it can't be. That balance of power is really still... I mean, it's obviously massively in favor of the attackers, but... 13, I'm sorry, even 11 Bactrian Noble Cavalry or Royal Cavalry having that much of effect? Oh, there we go. 
What do we have here? Probably some Persian archers. Yeah, Persian light archers. Unfortunately, they are out of ammunition. And it looks like the attackers... Yeah, the attackers are going to win this. They're going to start making their way towards the town center. Let's just fast forward here see what we got. Maybe we're going to have another charge. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Are they going to charge in there? Nope, coming around. Yeah, okay. So there was two more units of Bactrian archers back here. Persian light archers. Unfortunately, it looks like they are both out of ammunition. So they're probably just going to charge in. Try and do whatever kind of damage they can do. But yeah, final 17 seconds of the battle. That was brutal. That was a brutal fight. I mean, Carthage just got completely annihilated. But his general fought with every bit of aggressive behavior that he could. Really cleaned up. Let's take a look at the end of the army compositions here. We will start off with the attackers looking at Carthage being commanded by Bubini. Again, like I said, Total War YouTuber. I will put the link in his description in the description below. Uh, but he ended with 2,233 kills. Very nice kill count. 254 with the general. The Ballista, 114. Archers, 196, 150, 189. Great job with the archers. Uh, Libyan Infantry, 159, 111, 132, 111, 101. So five out of the seven, over 100 kills. Great job. Gallic Warriors, yeah, not very good. I mean, that was his front line, only 97 for the top. Sam Knight's one unit there with 121. Then we have Arctic here with Arverni, 1994. So almost 2,000 kills. 135 with the General. Archers, 107, 101, 133. So three out of the four of them did good. Skirmishers, unfortunately, did not really do very much. Uh, his Celtic Warriors, top was an 83. Then getting into his Chosens, we have a 92, one, well, 185, 112, 293, 191, 147. All right, so the majority of the Chosen Swordsmen did very well. Getting it out to the Defenders, we have Fight Me. Again, yet another Total War YouTuber. I will put his link in the description below as well. 2,244 kills. So actually, he did get the most kills. Beat Bubini out by 10. 10 kills, wow. All right, Thorax Hoplite General, 150. The other Thorax went on 11. Uh, Swordsman, 102, 186, 156, 110, 117, 132. Wow. Great job at the Thorax. Six out of seven over 100 kills. Nice. Sam Knight's 180, 219, 156. Again, great day there. Uh, his Archer's only 60, but his Balearics, 157, 194. Great job with those two. Then we have Jack Jack, 12, 21 with Batria, 348 kills with his general. I think that's the most kills in the game. Let's just check the general there, 254. No 300s there. No 300s there, and no 300s. So, yeah, back to you in general. 348 kills, great job. Uh, Syrian archers, 190, 137. His Persian lights just not really carrying their load. Even the Peltas, unfortunate, only 11 kills there. Battery and Hillman, wow, seven Battery and Hillman. Wow. Uh, top for them, 127. Actually, not bad. Then we're getting into his Thorax, 127, 120, 155, 228, 179, 55, 112, and his Thoreos there with 45. So, all right, guys, there you go. That is the end of battle number one between Adversable Tactics and Rising Kings. Rising Kings, again, like I said, were on defense, so in the next battle, they will be on attack. But that is going to be the end, guys. Make sure to like the video, comment on the video, share it around, drop some comments, subscribe to the channel, whatever, all of that stuff. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, and as always, until the next one. Hey guys, I just wanted to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it.